Approximately eight years ago, I attempted to teach my 12 year old son how to use a measuring tape. And at the time he wasn't very interested as you can imagine. And now uh, again, eight years later, he's uh, approaching 20 years old and he's very interested. And I thought I would just make this video, uh, just share with him to teach him how to use a measuring tape. And it was later in life actually that I fully understood all of the aspects of a measuring tape and how to use it effectively. And this is knowledge that I want to share with him because it's extremely important to know this uh, as you go through life. And uh, it's pretty simple. And what I have here uh, before me are four different types of measuring tape and they're all very similar. I have three that are Stanley. Stanley is a very good quality um, measuring tape. And those are the three that I primarily use. My wife recently purchased the one on the far left, uh, which is JobSmart. Um, the quality of that tape is not the greatest, uh, but it does work okay. And the biggest difference between these Stanleys is that, um, in particular this one here, uh, the numbers are just larger, easier to read. And then these other two are very similar. And all of these tapes here are um, set up based on a 16th of an inch. And I'll speak on that in just a little bit. So let's take a closer look uh, using this uh, Stanley Fat Max 25 foot tape. Okay, I have the camera positioned above the tape. And I wanna make this as efficient as possible. So I'm only going to be focusing on uh, these marks between uh, the six inch uh, mark here and the seven inch. And with this particular measuring tape, it's set up on sixteenths of an inch. So what that means is that each one of these lines going across here is one sixteenth. So you start here, one sixteenth, two sixteenth, three sixteenth four sixteenths and so on, all the way until you get 16 sixteenths. And also when you're measuring, you're using these different measurements. For instance, uh, with this one here is two sixteenth. You have to reduce this down to the lowest common denominator and factor. So instead of saying two sixteenth, this is um, basically one eighth of an inch. So you would just uh, reduce that down again to the lowest common denominator in the factor. And uh, with this tape, um, the longest line here are the one inch mark, which runs all the way through here at the six inch and the seven inch mark. The second longest line between this line here, the six inch and the seven inch is this line here. And so what that tells us is that this is one half of the distance between the six inch and the seven inch. So this is six and one half inches. The next highest line, which is this one here, and also this one is one half the distance between the six inch and the one half. So what that's telling us is that that is one quarter of an inch. That would be additional quarter here at the one half and then another quarter at the uh, one uh, three quarters of an inch line. And then this is the full inch here. Um, also with breaking this down, the next shortest line is the second line here and that line. And those lines are one eighth. So basically is one half of one quarter. So this is one eighth two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. As I mentioned, you have to reduce these factor down to the lowest common denominator. So you would never reference this line here as four and four eighths. It is um, one half of an inch. And if you are measuring something or if someone tells you something is uh, six and five eighths, you should be able to quickly look at this tape and know exactly where the five eighths mark is. Because as I mentioned earlier, 
this here is four eighths or one half. So this next eighth line here is that one. That is uh, five eighths of an inch. And um, it took me a while to fully understand uh, this measuring tape. It was so confusing to me, especially as you reduce these fractures down, fractions down. But now uh, it's pretty simple for me uh, in terms of reading this tape, how I go about measuring uh, lumber and cutting things. And early on, as I mentioned, you know, when my son was 12 years old, he was not interested in this. But now he's very inquisitive, very, very interested. So I'm hoping that this video will teach him how to read this tape. Uh, it does take a little time to study this. And once you, um, you know, you get it and understand the way this works is fairly, fairly simple. Again, uh, these are just units of measurements, you know, based on uh, one end. And uh, for this specific measuring tape, uh, each line here is one sixteenth of an inch. So you might have a measuring tape that's set up different. It could be set up on 30 seconds, possibly. You could also have measuring tapes with a lot more information on it, which might have the numbers on here. But I would encourage you to not uh, use those types of tapes because this tape here, if you're, say for instance, if you uh, learn how to read a measuring tape, reading a tape with numbers on it, uh, and someone gives you this tape here, you're going to be completely lost. You're likely going to be lost. But if you start with the tape like this, you're always going to know whether it's this type of tape or a tape with numbers on it. You'll be able to quickly read that tape. But I hope this video is clear and helping you understand how to go about reading a measuring tape. But it isn't. if it isn't, please uh, drop comments below and I'll respond. And if there are several questions, uh, some additional explanation needed, I'll just come back and create a more uh, in-depth video. But I didn't want to make this video too long because this is a pretty simple process. But uh, we all learn uh, different ways and if additional information is needed, I'll, I'm more than happy to make a more detailed um, and lengthy video. With that, Stay tuned.